An estimated 3.5 million Nigerians are living with HIV. About 800,000 of them are being treated with antiretroviral drugs. Ibrahim is one of them. His wife is also HIV positive and they give birth to a child who is HIV negative. It's not as easy for a serodiscordant couple to get pregnant where one is HIV negative and the other is positive because of the use of condom to prevent transmission of the virus. What I used to give, tell them is this, get a new set of syringe. New syringe, remove, the, not without the needle, remove the stopper during peak ovulation. The man ejaculates into the stopper, closes it back and throws it into the man, a woman. Because that woman is HIV positive. So that keeps the man prevented from HIV. And now, that is what the group I call soft discordance. And they were having children. But they had discordance. These are the group of persons where the man is HIV positive, the woman is negative. And science has told us that the virus, HIV virus, is not in the sperm, it's in the semen. And for this woman to get pregnant, the sperm has to swim out of the semen to impregnate this woman. And how do we do that? This woman is prevented from getting HIV. That was the trouble I was for years. Nigeria is currently carrying out a pilot study on pre-exposure prophylaxis, PrEP, with a drug called Truvada that an HIV-negative spouse can take to prevent contracting HIV during unprotected sex with an infected partner. The trial study has been successful in some countries, including Kenya. These, these studies have been on to establish the efficacy, the safety and effectiveness of uh, the drug. NACA is the main body that is uh, conducting the study in some uh, selected establishments, uh, health institutions in Nigeria. And NIMA is the technical partner for this research. This is not the traditional vaccine that we're talking about, it's not vaccine but it's a drug that will lead to prevention. And um, you, you, you know that uh, even now, the WHO guideline suggests that as soon as anybody is tested positive, you should start antiretroviral drugs. If Nigeria is to meet the deadline of the global sustainable goals to eradicate HIV and AIDS by 2030, it's expected that at least 90% of the population avail themselves for voluntary counseling and testing and adhere to treatment if necessary. We have culture and custom and at the moment a lot of superstition, people go to church to pray we, and we are not saying they shouldn't pray but it is delaying. They can Get, get to the hospital, get to the health facility, get their antiretroviral drugs, get their um, CD4 monitored, get their viral load monitored, their hematological profile, their biomedical profile, their biochemical profile measured so that they can continue to live a healthy life rather than, you know, going to the Babalawos or you go for prayer to prayer houses. I'm not saying I'm a Christian, I'm not saying we should not go to prayer houses, but while you are doing that, please, we should avail ourselves of the, facil of the facilities that are available. The amount we are investing into the treatment component is still very low. Our response is still donor driven. And for us to go into this, we should reduce the level of donor drive and take charge. I give this simple scenario. Our national response, look at it as this vehicle. On the driver's seat, donor. On the front uh, passenger seat, donor. On the back passenger seat, donor. The boot, donor. The government is left at the bus stop, the, driver, the vehicle is driving off. That is the situation we find ourselves now. We want to see where on the driver's seat, the government. On the passenger seat in front with the driver, government. Then partners can come, whether in the back seat or even in the boot or even on the roof. For us to have a better country, a better national response. More than 34 million people are living with HIV globally. Nigeria has the second highest burden of HIV in the world after South Africa. Nigeria is yet to publish the report of the new studies, but discordant couples can be hopeful. Vivian Irikefi, TVC News.